Hello, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur, and welcome back to Mutant Year Zero. In our first video, we learned about the basic mechanics, had a couple fights, found a snazzy visor, and learned about the history of this universe. When we made it back to base, which is the Ark, we learned that Hammond, Mr. Fixit, has gone missing. And now we have to go back into the zone to find him. The first place we look is Hammond's cabin. Okay, so here we are with Borman and Ducks. Thanks for signing me up back there, you crazy pig. Yes, Mr. Elder, sign us up for a suicide mission, Mr. Elder. Did you forget there's like a kajillion ghouls out here who want to kill us? Nobody gets to kill you but me now. Shut the duck up and keep moving. I'm telling you, Borman, ain't no happy ending in this story. Stalkers don't get happy endings. We get each other. So watch my back. I feel like Sneak is going to be very important. Our first couple of fights were really tough. So let's not get into anything we can't handle. I can't read the signs. I'm gonna go this way. To the right. Oh, looks like we got a cabin of some sort. That's it. Hammond's cabin. Let me guess. That's not Hammond inside. Him. Ghouls. We chase everything, but there are no secrets. Where are the secrets? The ones in the north will catch Hammond and squeeze the secrets from his head. Hammond will tell us what the junk is for. The junk is for us. All of it. The trick here is going to be to set up the ambush. We're definitely outnumbered. Wait here. So we're going to have to split up at least for a moment. We want Borman like there. He's in good cover. How far over do you come? So like that might be good. Alright, I like this positioning. Ducks has a silent weapon. So we need to start him first. And he already has a 75% chance to hit. I think we'll take it. <laughs> now what? Alright, we're back into... We're back into free mode. So Borman is still hidden. And stationary. The hunter is looking tough. What's going on over here? Shaman. He's going to be tough too. So Ducks has a 50% chance at the Shaman, and so does Borman. I'm not sure how this is going to work, but I'm going to put Borman in Overwatch. Overwatch. And then take the shot with Ducks. And then I'm hoping when the Shaman makes a run for it, that Borman will take him out. Yes, I did that. What do you think about right, that, we huh? We hit that one. Enemy turn. Where's my backup? Yeah, go for the spare ribs! No sweat on it! Oh, we missed him. And he calls for reinforcements. Yep, wow, okay. You're gonna be like that, huh? And Dux is hit. Looking pretty injured. He needs to fall back. Now, now, now. Borman. You can take out this shaman. It's absolutely critical. If he's going to be calling for reinforcements. That we concentrate on him when we have the chance. That's only 50%. Borman is not... Okay, we'll take the shot. 
and a miss. Enemy turn. Stupid stalkers! Ducks misses the hunter. Get the fat one! Get ya! Here come the reinforcements. I'll cut, cut, cut that filthy mutant neck! Borman needs to reload. Am I currently flanked though? I think I am. I need to take out that shaman though. It's still only 50-50. One more time. And that'll do the trick. Good night, rodheads! Yeah, I think as long as I'm in high cover and I'm getting away from the hunter, I'll be okay. Ah, uh, he's got some range on him, wow. Borman's taking damage. More damage. Overwatch. Seems like we're in trouble here. So I can't move and shoot this guy because... Because that guy has Overwatch. But if I don't move, I'm going to be in big trouble next turn. Alright, ducks. Does his job, <laughs> takes out the marauder. Them. Then we have Borman. Take out the butcher. Oh, right, down. We're down to two. Take Miss on line. ducks. As good as dead. We're lucky there. Ah. And Borman's down. Remember, I did take the bonus so that he'll bleed out for a couple turns longer. I do have the medikit. Five turns. Life. Four turns now. That's pretty good. I'll, I can live with that. Well, we'll see, I guess. Here I'll be in cover from both sides. And a lot closer to Borman. Two misses. There's really nowhere that he can go and take a shot and be in cover. Here I have a 75% chance to kill the Marauder. And a miss. Ducks is down. You That's game over. Me. So back to my newest save, which is the last guy I killed in a stealth fashion before I got myself into the big battle. So it's really true that you can't get yourself into a significant fight. So this shaman cannot take him out in one shot, even if I wanted to. I really like how they have the little vision circles. It means I can get right up. And I'm hiding. And they don't notice me. And everything's cool. But back to ducks. He still seems to have a little bit of wiggle room. There we go. Now we're about as close as we can get. So let's try the same trick as last time. Borman is going on overwatch. And Ducks is going to take the shot with his crossbow. That's a 100% chance. Does that hurt? Alright. There's the initial hit. He'll take off running. Here, faster! The bird hit him! No sweat on it! And another miss from Borman. 
Literally the first thing he does is call in the reinforcements. Now it's the hunter's turn. He gets a crit on Warman. Dux is in a much better position this time to deal with the reinforcements. We need his backup weapon because of course he's one shot and done with the crossbow. So just back to here. And yeah, the first guy we see ah, is down. Shabby. Now Borman, let's bring him back. One thing I probably shouldn't do is split them up too much. It's definitely an issue previously. 75% chance to hit on the butcher. Stay down. Another one down. <laughs> Not so bad. Another hit on Borman. Get that annoying freak! Getcha! Dux is lucky not to be hit. Again, 100% from Dux. Ah, Borman has been hit. His shotgun is out of ammo. We just need to retreat. This is full cover. Ducks is hit again. Okay, I can get ducks in the full cover. His best shot is on the hunter. <laughs> yeah. Borman can reload. Let's get him in the high cover. Both of them are in Overwatch. Dux has no ammo in either one of his weapons. Seventy-five percent chance on the shaman. Crit won't take him out. Same with the hunter. Try for the shaman. Gotcha. He's down to two. So all we need is the stinger. If we get him over here. It's out of range. Let's overwatch. Overwatch. Get that annoying freak as good as dead. Here we go, here we go. The shaman is down. Sleep it off. That was awesome. Overwatch. All right. I think we can win this now. Reload the crossbow. And then we can take this shot. 50%. There we go. That had to hurt. Foreman again. thought when he got hit, his overwatch would have been cancelled. Still out of range. Overwatch again. Overwatch. Same deal. Ducks, reload. Ducks. Crossbow to the face. Bingo. You're earning your scrap, kid. And there you have it. We got another level up. Come on. Let's loot some corpses. 
Ooh, a medikit. Obviously, we'll be needing that. Before we check out the cabin, what's going on here? A far looker. Do we need one of them? Ooh, it's an artifact I can collect. This is Hammond's far looker. Let's bring it back to prep before the ghouls take it. That name is all wrong. It should be a smaller fire, because when I looked into it, everything became smaller and more distant. Amazing what the ancients could make. There appears to be the remains of an ancient camp, complete with transportable hut. Their location is currently home to a pack of zone dogs, who for some reason tolerate my presence. They pick off wandering ghouls, and I leave them alone. An unusual symbiosis. Into the cabin. There's our quest marker. Zone ghouls stripped this cabin clean. Almost everything useful was gone. But it's a good thing ghouls can't read. They ignored the diary hidden inside Hammond's desk. Me and Ducks aren't big readers either. But we look for answers in the diary. And all we get is more questions. Hammond writes how he found the crash machine near his cabin. He's convinced the machine was sent as a message from a mythical place beyond the zone called Eden. Where everybody's happy and safe. When Hammond sees another machine fall north of here, he takes his stalker crew up there to find it. I close the diary. Here's the problem. Eden's a fairy tale. Some bedtime story mutants believe in, so they can get to sleep at night. So either Hammond is onto something, or his brain's got the rot, and he's about to kill a bunch of good stalkers. Guess we gotta find out. Me and Ducks have to go north. Farther from home than we've ever been. It's dangerous. Ducks thinks I'm crazy to press on. I don't disagree with him. I don't care about some stupid Eden. But we need to find Hammond. And if he's going north, we're going north. If he's going north, that makes him a grade-A certified loony. No one goes up there, Borman. And what's with those two stalkers he took with him? They should know better. They're following orders, just like us. The Ark can't run without Hammond, so we're bringing him back. Especially with ghoul packs coming this far south. Wonder what they're planning. Mm, ghouls are too dumb to plan. Someone's pushing them down here. I'm feeling it in my feathers. Alright, so apparently we're going to have a lot more nasty ghouls to fight. But also, possibly, something even worse. How do we level up again? There we go. C, for some reason. Right, we already got Borman some health. At this point, it's either that or run and gun. I definitely like some run and gun. Do your fire dance. As for ducks, we already got him the skull splitter. I think we should take the health booster for him this time. He still has some upgrade points in store. The next item is a movement booster. Increase movement by two. What else could we get if we waited? Knee shot, disable an organic enemy's movement, or more HP. I think we should go for the movement booster. All right, our current mission is to follow Hammond to the crash site. We found some Noantum Emp 30. Definitely need some of that. It's a damage module. And I can upgrade weapons in Delta's workshop. It doesn't seem like I'm going to be going back to the Ark anytime soon. We already found something. 
Wow, whoa, check this thing out. It must have crashed. Look at this symbol on the side, it's like a star. Doesn't look like it's been sitting there for long. Never been this deep into the zone before. Bet you a picture of Grog, there's ghouls out here. They're everywhere. Right, so we need to be extra careful right now. I already see fire up ahead. Look alive. We got company. Wait. That's a stalker. One of Hammond's. Stay right there. Who are you? You're a Selma, right? You're a mutant like us on Hammond's team. Do I owe you money? No. Did I kill your brother? No. And Selma I am. Who are you? I'm Ducks, and he's Borman. Hello? Like the only walking duck and boar in the whole arc? Come on. That's funny. I think you've mistaken me for someone who gives a duck. I've got to catch up to Hammond before it's too late. You're part of Hammond's crew. How did you get separated? It was weird. We were all hearing strange voices, not from the zone, in our heads. And that's when the ghouls ambushed us. After the fight, I was somehow blinded, paralyzed. I could barely move. I told Hammond I'd catch up to him when it wore off. Two long, rough days. But I'm better now. He headed up north to a crash site to find some metal ship. Says it was sent from... Eden, I know. Do you believe him? If Hammond thinks there's an Eden, there's an Eden. Believe me. You guys are trying to find him too? And we can work together. This is insane. You want to go more north? Into Ghoul Central? They'll kill us. A lot of ghouls have tried to kill me, but I'm still here. So, am I part of your team or what? Looks like we got a new team member. Looks like she's already got a level up. Selma, who basically looks human except she has a horn. Horned Selma has seven points available. Holy wow. We have health booster. Let's go ahead and get that for one. Now we can pick super tendons. Reach high places by simply moving or sprinting in combat. So high jumper. Or joker, draw enemy attention to yourself for one turn. I don't know if I like that one so much. Let's get super tendons. Do you have anything special in your inventory? You have an ancient pistol and a Molotov, but that's about it. So back on the trail, another unreadable sign. Look at this, some sort of path through the forest. Hard to notice. I'm gonna go left. What's going on? It's getting kind of shaky and dark. I don't like that. We have a little staircase. Watch out for ghouls on the road. On the truck! Ugly face! You see anything out there? No! There's nothing out there! It's the zone! And stop calling me ugly face! Look at your face! I can't look at my face, it's my face! Now put your eyes out there and look for intruders! I think we're gonna have a hard time sneaking past, especially since there's three of us now. Tell you what, it's just for a moment. Let's take ducks. Scouting ahead. That's right, you're scouting ahead. You know what's going on. Oh, here they come, nice and quick. 
are very tough too. Thought maybe I could take one or two out silently. Okay, so this is not spooky at all. Walking through a graveyard. Fantastic. Oh, 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 oh here he comes. Is he going to see Selma? He does not see Selma. Go, go, go. All right, that's two out of three. See if we can get the big man through. The ghouls are not very perceptive. What can I say? And regroup. Get your asses over here. And let's get out of here. Bada bing. The cave of fear. This is going to be fine. Absolutely fine. I want ducks to lead the way here since he's the sneaky one. He has the silence weapon. Something going on up ahead. Uh, you know the stalkers we captured, right? Right? They, uh, they ran away. I lost them. You let the stalkers escape? The bubbleheads are gonna be mad at you. You better get them back. I can't. The boat took them across the river. And now the bubbleheads have the boat? But where's your boat? If you don't get those stalkers back, they'll shred your brain. Okay, apparently the guys we're looking for took the boat. That's good to know. Oh, that's nice. I like the way they just hang there. Oh, there's one. A level 10 butcher. No, thank you, Mr. Butcher. Oh, oh, oh. Finally, we have another one. Follow me. What's he going to do? Is he just standing there? This butcher is level 10. He doesn't want to move. Seems like we need to go that direction. Let's Regroup. engage him when that guy is farther away and see if we can still manage to split them up. I've not been spotted. All right, let's get Selma. Her pistol has some pretty decent range. I'm going to overwatch. I'm not going to do anything with Borman yet. But Ducks is going to take a shot at this Butcher. It's the hit. That Butcher is obviously alerted. Borman was caught sneaking, so I think both butchers are now activated. I want to use my running gun, which is one of my mutations. The cooldown is set to kills and not to turns, which is an interesting twist. So he can come over here. And still take the shot. It's one of them down. Enough! No, not! Oh man, you are the shit. 
This butcher is going to get a chance get to retaliate. No, but there's sweat. other guys going to be coming in. We want it. We need it. Yeah, the hunter is in. A pyro. We haven't seen one of them before. And a med bot. Personal injury care unit in line. Injury analysis in progress. Definitely did not want to do that. Right, ducks can get to here behind this van. And then take a shot at this butcher. Alright. That's good. Now Selma has an automatic kill. Not too shabby. Let's get Borman up here too. Now to be the computer's turn. He's lying down again. So Ducks is on fire. Yeah, confirmation that he's on fire, but it doesn't really tell me what that does. Maybe for two turns? I'm guessing one health point per turn. Right, we know the hunter is on Overwatch. I'm not sure what else to do with Ducks. Reload our crossbow. See if we have a shot. We do not. Neither does Selma. But I don't know what's going on with this med bot. I would like to take him out first though. He does have a an axe. So it looks like he has an attack as well. Selma needs to reload. Does a couple damage. Duck still doesn't have any shots. He does have 25% chance at the pyro. I'm not sure I'm a fan of that. Can we get him up? Try to keep ducks out of harm's way for the moment. This hunter has some serious range. Can we get you to hit the med bot. <laughs> that stops him from healing his guy. Fall back with Selma. She'll take a shot at the med bot. That's right. We can't really do anything with Borman because he's out of ammo. We will reload. He has a shot at Medbot now. I don't think this will take him out though. Not quite. Selma takes another hit. Here comes the pyro again. Another Molotov, and Selma is down. One of ours is down. We are dying facial mass. Have a super day. All right, ducks. One more shot at the med bot. That does that trick. Now Borman. You have a shot at the pyro. So I'm 
out of ammo again with Borman's shotgun. But what happens if I give the pyro a taste of his own medicine? Doesn't seem like he's on fire the way Ducks was. Speaking of Ducks, he needs to... Oh, we do have a shot with him in his crossbow. Let's bring him over this way. And he can shoot the pyro. A little bit of revenge there. Wow. 75% cover bonus. That wasn't enough. Stung me with that one. I'm it. Over here. We can revive ducks this turn, I think. I don't know how to use the medikit. I have to be adjacent. No, apparently adjacent is not good enough. Let's reload his gun. Selma is about to bleed out. Roman is about to die as well. Okay, I know I have medikits. Why won't it let me use them? Oh, I have to click on her body. Stay still. I'm gonna patch you up. Thank you. Instead of the icon, which is kind of weird. You don't shoot people by clicking on them. You might be in trouble here, though. Foreman, a lucky miss there. He takes another Molotov, though. They got me good. It's back over here to ducks. Should have another medikit. No time to die. We have to keep fighting. Ducks is up. You're the best. Reload his crossbow. He has another shot at the pyro. Bingo. Pyro's down to two. I think we can do it with Selma. Down to the last bad. hunter. He's a, a tough newbie. cookie, though. He runs through Best the fire Dutton. like a dumbass. Borman might need a medikit soon. Ducks doesn't have any ammo. Selma's turn again. She's got a 50%. Nice shot. All right, Foreman. Tell you what, you have another running gun. Get up here and take your shot. Now you're probably about to die. Selma's also about to die. Foreman is bleeding out. Mutant down. Get ducks up there. All right, let's bring her back in the high cover. Just put her on Overwatch. She doesn't have any bullets. All right, what's he going to do now? He's back to Overwatch. Borman is bleeding out. Uh, how does Duck end up over there? I'm okay. I'm okay. 
I guess it probably won't matter. Foreman should be able to finish the job. I tell you what, let's just put both of them in cover and overwatch for Borman. Overwatch. Overwatch as well for Selma. Overwatch. Borman takes the shot and gets the kill. Gotcha. Cleanly done. I didn't think we were going to do it. Couple of level ups there for Borman and Selma. Let's see what's going on over here. What kind of loot can we get? Remember, there still might be some baddies about. Another weapon mod. That didn't go exactly how I wanted it to, but we did make it out alive. Scrap there, weapon parts there. And we're cracking on. The Sea Titans. Hammond told me he wanted to cross a big body of water to get to a place called the House of Bones. He said the crash site was near there. I keep looking for dead duck bodies, but I never see one. Are we the only mutants in the zone? You're right. There are no mutants in the zone. I've been checking bodies ever since you mentioned it. We do have level ups. Let's not forget that. Three points available. Three points available for Borman. We can get him extra health. Not sure that's my favorite idea at the moment. Selma can disable enemy movement for one turn. That might be handy. I'm still not sold on any of these upgrades though. What's going on down here? Looks like some kind of sort of like a scarecrow to warn visitors. There goes the crow. Oh baby. Oh, oh, oh. oh baby. Certainly ghouls down there. Ah, making my head spin. Did you hear that? I heard the same voices when me and Hammond got ambushed. Okay. Remember, don't get in fights we don't need to. Holy ancient power. Feel my words inside you, taking control. Oh, here comes the Marauder. No, thank you. Ah. We're in trouble now. Help! Damn it. He's Get called all his buddies in. And got the first shot. Me. I, mean, I don't think this is going to end the way I wanted to, but let's give it a shot. Can't take out this marauder. Uh. Bad news right there that somebody so simple is going to take two turns. Uh. Stone cold. Ducks has a shot at the pyro. Does that hurt? I feel so good. Yeah, I bet not. Damn it. I'm that bleeding hurts. here. I'm sure you are. You do have a shot, though. Ah! 
foreman, use your running gun. Come up the side here. And take the shot on him. Yeah, I guess so. Now I can run ducks up there. And he doesn't have a shot yet. I can move him up this way. And take out the pyro. <laughs> you got it. Brother Bowden is looking tough. No sweat on it. Cut, cut, cut that filthy mutant neck. Foreman is bleeding out. Selma is in Overwatch. Overwatch. And Ducks. He has a shot at the hunter. Hi there. We're doing some damage. Oh, Ducks takes a big hit. Here comes the butcher. Hilda can't save you now. Three turns for Borman. Still time to save him. Selma has a shot at the hunter. Not today, Dick White. Skull Splitter would give me a chance to take out the hunter. Although he's still on fire. So maybe a regular shot would do the trick. Right, he's down to one. And he's dead. Foreman is still bleeding out. Can you feel the darkness? Brother Bowden is coming in. And he is doing something to our guys that was not good. Ducks is bleeding out. Selma is down to one point. She needs to get to Borman. Probably the best choice is to take on the Butcher. Dad. At the moment, it's three on one. Come here, filthy, filthy mutant. Come here! All right, Selma, get over here. Use the medikit on Borman. Let me patch you up. Better. Now Borman can reload and take the shot, and that's going to take out the butcher. So we're down to yeah. one butcher. Hey. To that. And I will Bowden. cleanse the evil that plagues your soul. <laughs> but man, he is going to be something else. I'm not sure what we're going to do about him. Borman can use his running gun. Let's get over here. Maybe we can take out the butcher. Not quite, it looks like. You're mine, stalker! And Borman is down. Don't give up. And once again, that's game Look over. Look ahead to a better world. That's going to do it for today. I definitely think that we can do that last part better. If we use some stealth, we can take out a lot of the guys at first. And then I'm going to have to figure out how to deal with Brother Bowden. He can attack more than one of my guys at a time. Cover doesn't really seem to bother him. But we learned a lot this time. We got to Hammond's cabin. 
We learned that he might have gone to Eden. We followed him to this boat. And now we just have to figure out how to get aboard. Hopefully we can do that next time. For now, my name is Ty. I am your homicidal chauffeur. This has been Mutant Year Zero. Thank you very much. Like and subscribe. And have a good night.